This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Doctor Wolves is right here, and welcome to a special oak pack opening. Now, just to tell you truthfully, you know what the title says: why you should not have, why you should not weigh cards. Now, pretty much, I went ahead and had a special order to go and get this. I call these Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon weighing scales. Now, what these pretty much are, they're tiny scales that weigh cards. And why do people weigh them? It's because they so they can get themselves heavy packs, meaning they buy a booster box, they weigh all the heavy cards, they open up the heavy stuff, and then they get rid of all the light ones and stick them on eBay to sell them saying that they are heavy. I find that extremely wrong, and for the people who are out there who do them, shame on you. Now, I want to try these out for myself pretty much right now. Now, just to tell you the truth, I don't go out with this because I always say to every single one of my friends, including the clerks like Card Empire and other places out there, to if you see anybody carrying these or doing them in their shop, ban them. That's what I'm saying. This should be a criminal offence in my eyes for weighing cards because it's absolutely ridiculous. So, I want to go ahead and test it out for myself to hope to God these don't work. If they do work, fantastic. I've got some expensive cards here. But what I've done myself, I went ahead and went to a few shops and I literally asked them to randomly pick 10 packs of Duelist Park Ra. Now, this is one of my favourite sets because it has the Ghost Rare Range of Ra, which I'm hoping to pull. But also, I went ahead and bought something that's literally you cannot weigh. And this is a whole box of um, Rebel Clash starter kit which contains four booster packs and a few random cards so i can't weigh this so this is why i want to test it out for myself so let's stop jibber jabbering and let's get to the game board come with me okay people now we're on the board let's open this up this is an e-fast weighing scale now as you guys could tell this has the maximum compatibility of 200 grams to the smallest of 0.01 grams now I know that there is some stuff on eBay and Amazon and everything that you can get ones that are actually smaller but they're for like expert type of weighers. I'm not telling you what because I don't want to get in trouble. But like I said, the random is anything and plus like I said I will shuffle them just to make sure and this is still not open okay so I can't go ahead and mischief this. So what I'm going to do, you turn it on and I'm going to read out the grams and literally what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in piles on what's the lightest and what's the heaviest. So let's get this really done really quick. So this is 8.58, so that's in the fives. 8.71, 8.68, okay. So that's quite heavy actually. That could be a super rare and that could be a rare. That is 8.72, that's very heavy. We'll put that to the side. So we've got fives, the six and seven. So that could be an ultra rare. I got hope it's not an ultra rare and it could be absolutely wrong. That's in the five, so that's still quite light. This is what I'm thinking. I'm proving this to you right now on this camera just to see if this is 100% truthfully or it's absolutely an absolute sham. Now, I hope this is wrong, and that means everybody that you see on eBay, when, every, when everybody says, oh yeah, these cars, they're weighed, they're heavy, don't trust them. Please, I'm begging you guys to do not even trust them. That was 6.1, so I'm still going to put it in the 5 because it's quite light on the other 6 ones. 6.62, yeah, yeah, I'll put it there. And the last one, 6.6, 6. okay, just a 6 one. So that's pretty much there for that. Now, let's go ahead then. So we got these ones here. We'll turn this off so they don't die. I'm going to open up the light ones, and then I'll open up the heavy ones. So pretty much, that was the sevens, they were sixes, and these were supposed to be, these are all non-hollow. Now, like I said, people buy booster boxes of packs. I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic of the Gathering, Digimon, everything. And literally, they break it all down, they take all the heavy packs for themselves, to open them up to see if they've got anything expensive, and then they go ahead and sell the crap, and sell them for profit. It is an absolute ridiculous thing and I can't stand people doing it. So anybody who's out there who's watching this video and they do weigh their packs and sell them on, shame on you. So these, like I said, these are the light packs. So let's see what we can pull. 
There we go, that's a light one. Okay, so that's pretty much has worked. And like I said, people, if I do pull a hollow, fantastic. And I will put the price on the card here. So like I said, this is an actual Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh video. But this is just to show you, I'm hoping that it does not work. Okay, that's another rare. So pretty much at the moment, it's working. I really got hope this doesn't work, but if it actually does work, I'm in shock. So thinking like, how the hell has somebody actually really gone ahead? Oh my god, this is this is gonna be scary now. This is this is unbelievable. I still think it's an absolute disgrace that people think it's so fun to go ahead and literally go to even different types of shops, even supermarkets. And they, and like I said, I've seen people around where I live weighing. Pokemon blisters, which are extremely difficult to weigh anyhow, and literally take all the heavy ones, even though the cardboard is always weighed differently. And like I spoke to him, um, it's like I speak to Card Empire, and he's already agreed that he will ban anybody who will come in with, with weighing scales, and he's already made the promise to that. But also, he's already said that Pokemon themselves, the Pokemon company, has said that they have actually changed the packs and actually they cannot be weighed. I want to try and test that out for myself. I think they can still be weighed. And that's why I want to prove it today. So pretty much at the moment, all the light packs there were all rares. So pretty much, that was a darn her that was a darn godden um triumph. They actually did work. But now, time for the heavy ones, because the ones that we got here were um 0.6 three to six nine and then you had the sevens so let's see what we can get out of these two packs these ones were in the sixes if these are supers this is crazy i hope it doesn't work brain control amplifier mech lord reflect slime oh what a surprise it's just the rare oh i am happy actually i'm very happy it didn't work Okay, so 0.5s and 0.6s. Hmm, a, a small measure of a gram is off. Let's see the other pack and see if that worked. Mechlord, Jinzo, Token. Okay, there's a super rare. Psychic Border, which is a re which is a reprint. Not bad at all. So that's a bit of a surprise, to be honest. A very big surprise. So one of them did work, the other one didn't. So it's Sometimes they can work, sometimes they can't. Okay, so pretty much that was the point six packs. Now time for the big ones. Which post be either the, the ultra rares or even the most expensive card in the set, the ghost rare Ra. If I do pull a Ra, <laughs> I'm be freaking happy. But either way, like I said, these were put packed randomly by the job by the workers. I asked them to pick them out for myself. I don't pick them they pick them so whatever happens oh! oh my god this is not this is crazy it actually does work I can't believe it so literally people this is the thing these scales do work and I still think it's absolutely a travesty that it actually does now I like I said if you guys like weighing cards at home and everything it's like I know there's people out there who like holding on to the collections Fair enough, so like probably they buy a booster box, they'll weigh up a load of them, make sure that there's four of them that are quite light, they'll keep them onto the side so they can keep them forever, so they can have a memory of them. But please people, if you do weigh your cards, don't do it in the shop. Don't go ahead and sell your light stuff, because it's an absolute ridiculous thing. I might as well put the card, I might as well put the card there, if it's going to be a rare. So, pretty much people, make sure, don't do it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And there's a super rare. Okay, so it still made a bit of a wrong decision there. That was supposed to be at a, a 0 0.6, not a 0 0.7, but it was still quite heavy for some weird reason. But at the end of the day, we pulled ourselves an ultra and two supers. That's crazy for the price of it. So pretty much, there's the prices, pretty much. Um, there's one here, one there, and one there. That's how much I made from there, besides the normal rares. But now let's go ahead and, and crack this open up here. Rebel Clash. I went for this one because you guys know me, I like Joe Strummer. We have pulled the um, standard um, full big version, but we haven't pulled a, like, a Rainbow Rare or anything out of this set. We've not pulled a secret out of this set yet. It'd be nice to pull one. 
But let's see what we can get out of here. You can also get yourself a special promo um, pre-release set. So, uh, how do I open it? There we go. I want to put that to the side. It's a nice little deck holder. Okay, so you get yourself four packs. A guidebook. And, oh sweet, you get yourself a Garbodor Webber Clash um, promo card. Which I'll go ahead and look. Let me have a look at this really quick. Ah, uh, it's a little tiny poster. Nah, not useful. Not useful. Let me go ahead and open this up really quick, actually. And plus, like I said, people, I will give away the code to you guys. Here's your code. And it's gone. So let's see, we get ourselves a Garbador. And pretty much a load of same stuff. Just for filler. That's alright. So pretty much, you get this one guaranteed, either way. I forgot, these are Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. I need to get myself my Pokemon sleeves. There we go. I hope that um, Card Empire is 100% correct in their heads that these cannot be weighed and I want to test it out for myself. So pretty much at the moment, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually does pretty much do work most of the time. But sometimes they can fail. 22.6 on the dot. 22.69. Okay, and a, maybe a 7. Okay, I'll put that one to that side. Wow, 7.9. That's very heavy. And this one? 0.6. Okay, so this is going to be a very heavy pack. We'll have that last. And we'll open up these last two. I really hope these don't work. But if they actually do work, I'm saying to you now, please don't you dare do this. It's a joke, people, because what's the, what, where's the fun in it, to be honest? Because literally, after this video is done, I'm pretty much putting, I'm sending these E-Fast scales back to where they belong. Because I don't want them. Um... So pretty much, literally people, that's what I'm literally doing. I'm pretty much, literally after this video is done, I'm sending these back to Amazon and I'm going to get my money back because I don't want them. I'll just put down saying that they don't work. And uh, because I don't really want to go ahead. Oh, wow, we got a full hollow for that. And that was a light pack. That was a bit of a surprise. Okay, so probably that was a light pack. Wait a minute, does that mean all these are going to be hollow? Wait a minute, so this is another one that was quite light. Is this going to be also a hollow as well? Here's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. So pretty much people, like I said, please don't do it. I would, if I was governor or prime minister or the president of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, it should be a criminal offense. Are you kidding? Oh my God, this is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my god. And to be honest though, I'm excited. I really am. But I wanted, to, I wanted to prove that it doesn't work. So it's pretty much... I'm failing right now. But it's exciting that I'm pulling something good. This is a second to heaviest. So this could probably be an ultra rare. It could probably be a full art. I do not know. But I don't think it'll be a secret. So let's see about this. So them two were light, and they were, and they had very big cards. What? Whoa! Hang on a minute. That was an that was a heavy pack, and that had nothing in it. Wait a minute. Does that mean? No freaking way. Is that how they've done it? They made the cards random in Pokemon. So that means the midway heavy pack. It's gonna have nothing in it, and then probably like the light pack's gonna have something in it, and then there's gonna be the extremely heavy ones like this one. May guarantee you an actual holographic. That's hilariously well done to Pokemon. So that's quite difficult to do then. Let's see then, because these are quite heavy packs. Well, this was very heavy. This was like 0.8. So let's see what we can pull. Okay, yeah, that was a full art. Oh my god, that is nuts. Wow. I'm not really excited because I wanted to fail, 
But to be honest, that is that is awesome. And we got a V Max Dragapult. Full art, that's amazing. So, pretty much then, end of the story to say about that, people, is that with Yu-Gi-Oh, the heavier they are, the better the pack. With Pokemon, the heavier they are, the better, but if it's a mid-tier weighing card, so it'd probably be a 6 or a 7, they might not have anything good. If it's a 5 or an 8 or even a 9, probably be the most expensive thing. But, like I said... Don't buy these. I'm begging you now. It is the most stupidest thing you do. I would say it should be a criminal offence for people weighing cards. It's just ridiculous. And to be honest, that's why I have to say to it, people. If you guys do agree, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Because I wish that there's a campaign out there saying that they would say no to weighing cards and it's the most stupidest thing it's the most selfish thing to do stealing money of people who want cards it's ridiculous so pretty much that's all i got time for today people hopefully you guys enjoyed it i surely did make sure you leave a like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys next time for another pack opening cheerio right time for the bin why not people like using it for grass we got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh my god! Secret Red Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't, it's the Next Ball! Oh, baby, wait a minute! One for the. Uh, did I do? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh!